He cannot tell me that you create souls all in the name of you want to gain power and you expect something good to come out of it. Nothing. Nothing will come out of the government of the day. I'm not going to do Would you call the cops? Hello, beautiful people. How are you all doing? Good evening. It is another beautiful time out on the streets of Lagos. It is time for Vox Pop live on Pulse TV and this is your girl Rachel M.M. Isaac. Yes, I like to be called Ray Ray. And today we're talking about something that trended over the weekend. Now the DSS tried to re-arrest Omoyele Showere, yes, the convener of revolution now at the court over the weekend. And the video looked very, very Funny, it, it wasn't funny in the sense of um, it trying to make us laugh. It was funny and annoying that something like that could be carried out in the court of law. Now, the presidency did release a statement saying that it had nothing to do with the rearrest of Showere and that DSS has the right to carry out its responsibility and that it does not need permission from the presidency to do whatever it pleases or whatever they please. So, today we're asking what do you think about the rearrest of Showere? Do you think it deserves that? What exactly do you think is going on? How exactly did watching that video make you feel? I saw the video and I, I, I must confess to you that my heart bled for... I, I'm thinking about how someone so influential could go through so much. It was a lot and I've seen videos and um, statements from his wife saying that her child's um, Christmas wish is to have his father back and it is very very appalling all that we had to see and all that he has had to go through so today on the streets of lagos we'll be asking people how they feel about the video and how they feel about the whole incident surrounding the arrest and re-arrest again of showere okay so did you see the video of showere's re-arrest in court on friday yes i did how did you feel about it how what emotions did you exactly have regarding that video i felt bad about it and i think this is not what body swore that he was going to protect by 2015 when he was being sworn in he said he was going to uphold the rule of law and from the way things are going in the country is not obeying court order i'm not happy because the issue is not something that we should let go as a nigerian how could a court tell a man he's free and during that proceeding during their proceeding, the DSS are still arresting the man that is free. To me, it does not give room for the, 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 the level of our jurisdictions in Nigeria. The rule of law should be there. Then there, there should be a discre the discrepancy is something I don't like. Now we have legislative, executive and judiciary. The power that belongs to judiciary is no more working because we are not giving them the room to go out as the rule of law stipulated. I feel so bad because we are not really practicing democracy in Nigeria. And if eventually we are practicing the rule of the law, I believe the government in question should follow up the rule of the law for, this, for the masses to have their freedom of speech. That is the meaning of rule of the law. If we are not, kept, I believe during the time of Jonathan, he signed peace accord for the, for the freedom of speech for every citizen of Nigeria. Today they are just saying a different thing entirely. I believe this government in question were the one that said there's nothing like social in this country. Today, they are packing our money, collecting billions of dollars for no reason, just for no cost of reason. We are buying for a range of nine, 89 naira. 89 naira for just no reason. Today we are buying for a range of 145 naira. And we are still paying for subsidy. Who are deceiving who? Who are those that are deceiving who for God's sake? We should tell ourselves through. If you want to be one Nigeria, let us be. If you don't want to be one Nigeria, let us have a seat and go and find a means to solve this problem. That because we are getting nothing from this government. Nothing good to write home about for this government. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. To my own belief and my own observation. So that should be free. Revolution now is not something that should give room for a president to say you are arresting a man, a man without no gun. Now you see almost everybody killing all these things. Why can't you arrest those people that are killing people, innocent people? You cannot tell me that you create souls all in the name of you want to gain power and you expect something good to come out of it. Nothing. Nothing will come out of the government of the day. I bet you with my life, anytime, any day, this is what we are going to continue facing in this country until we be able to tell ourselves truth. We are not ever gotten it right. Until we tell ourselves truth, that is the only way we will be saved. 
And as long as they continue in this way, nothing good will come out of it. I can tell you, till date, after they are. Uh, eight years or ten, we are just counting years, wasting years for nothing. Are you also of the opinion that Soware is um, a threat or is dangerous to Nigeria as a country or to the government of Nigeria? It's, it's never a threat. It's never a threat. And nobody is bigger than this nation, Nigeria. Back then, they fought civil war, and nobody, one Nigeria, like Gowan will always say, is one Nigeria. Buhari in 2003, let's go back. Buhari. Asked when he was he lost the election, he called for a revolution and nobody arrested him. In 2007, the same thing, nobody arrested him. So why now? He's not taking up arms. Revolution. APC vote for change. So change can be stamped to be revolution. It's all about semantic and nomenclature. So Buhari should not be afraid. Do the needful. And the followers will follow you. No, the guy is not a trend to Nigeria, so and he's not a trend to the government. So we are, he's just helping us to fight for our rights. So that is all it is. What do you honestly think would be his fate? Because this guy was behind bars for over 100 days. Now he was released on bail, and then right there in court on Friday, he was rearrested again. And okay, what we saw was an attempt to rearrest him. Yes. So what do you think would be his fate, really? I think the courts. The court, which is the last hope of the common man, will stand its ground. I'm using this medium to call out the Nigerian Bar Association, the Judiciary, the National Judiciary Council, everybody that fights for the common man and keeps to the rule of law should come out and speak out. Speak against violation of human rights, just like the U.S. are speaking against another nice citizen, Speak against injustice, speak for equity, speak for freedom of speech, and speak the truth at all times. You see, there's one thing I believe. We have never gotten it right anymore. A lot of things have changed in the system. A lot have changed. Because I cannot see a real citizen of Nigeria being arrested after how many, uh, how many hundred and something days in his DSS custody, and you still come back, and inside the court premises, dragging him on the ground, telling people that, what kind of nonsense country is this? Telling people that those people are not DSS. Who are they? Are they no human beings? Fish them out. Let them find out who they are. Without getting them right, that means things is wrong. Because you cannot tell that these people are not DSS. These ones are not police people. They are wearing police uniform to Manova. Who are those that are wearing police uniform to Manova in a nation that called Nigeria? Huh? It's, it's, it's unfair, my dear. It's unfair. Let's tell so ourselves truth. So what advice would you give to the president or the presidency as a whole? Ah, the advice I can give to the president is he should look into the matter. And all those guys that has been his errand boys, he should call them back. Let this guy go. Let us see the truth. Because I know from the judiciary level, they say nothing but the truth. Let, let the truth come out. You have tried the guy. You do not find anything in him. Then let him, let, let, leave him, let him go. And the president should... should be a person that we should be looking up to is our father. That we he should he should proactively do what a father do to his children. He should let this guy go, free show worry and let him go. Wari should adhere strictly to the rule of law. Uh, Zakazaki, uh, uh, Dasuki, so rest should be released. You saw the mother crying. For God's sake, Wari should do the needful. He should do the needful. I know the Department of State Security Service has the rule of engagement. I know they have their acts that governs them. But the president has the veto power to take charge. He should set the ball in motion and he should direct the country in the path to go, the path of progress. We are from One Nigeria and we beg him to please show leadership. My own advice is that they should just please they should, to, uh, they should talk to them or to release the guy because the guy doesn't have any issue with them at all. So since the law has given the issue, they should release him. So they should just fi uh, find a way to do something to him. Let them go and they will protect themselves, first of all. Watch themselves. Tell themselves the truth. If what they are doing in this country, if it's okay for them, fine. But the judgment they shall tell. Whatever you gather will still come to the end of it. Sanya Bacha packed all the whole money in the whole country. After the whole thing, what happened? Where is it today? 
Let them continue. The God of vengeance must surely pass for the Nigeria. Anyway, this is the match you can take on the streets of Lagos today. Now, guys, this video is going to be up. And um, all, I need you to feel free to share, like, comment. Let us know how you feel about the topic for today. What exactly do you think Soares' fate would be? Do you also think that he's a threat, is dangerous to the government of Nigeria? And what advice would you give to the president if you had the power to reach out to him? What would you say to him regarding this issue, okay? Now, my name is Rachel M.M. Isaac, and this is the much that I can take today on the street. We're going to do it again. Sometime this week, you see my face again, and hopefully we'll get to talk about something that will put us... Put a smile on the faces of all of us watching and listening, okay? I am signing out. Bye, guys.